Thank you both for joining us today to speak about the new hands-free gonium prism from Corsa Medical. Um, we're going to be asking you some questions uh, just about some of the features and benefits of this new product. Sure. So let's get started. You know, you can classify them just simply as angle procedures. So uh, in general, when you're looking at a prism versus a mirror, we're looking at working in the angle. Um, and I mean, device or product specific we can talk on too as far as like things that we do. Yeah, I mean, whether it's micro stenting in the angle, things like the eye stent or the hydrus uh, or uh, goniotomy yep. type procedures. Like GATS. Right. Uh, uh, Cook dual blade. Yeah. Back in the uh, day when we were uh, doing some sight pass revisions, I mm -hmm. used the Gonio prism for that too. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, you know, you can certainly get pretty facile with it to where it's that becomes second nature. But just like like in a clinical exam, like on gonioscopy, when you start out, you start to really lose the view. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's the issue with like the, the the prisms. Like when people are starting to learn angle surgery. You're trying to do a procedure with like your dominant hand and then your non-dominant hand is holding the prism and you start to push down, which now you start to lose a view and then you start to kind of mess up what you're doing with your other hand and that starts to kind of strain the incision, you start to lose the view. And then you start getting stressed out, which causes you to push down in general. Meanwhile, viscoelastic is pouring out of your main incision, which is accelerating all of these problems. You kind of nailed it though. Like I think the, the main reaction that people have when they're struggling is you push down because you think you're gonna get a better view. You just, right. I don't know what it is mentally, but you're just kind of pushing down more, which actually loses the view even worse, makes it worse. It all starts with how much you're pushing down on the globe. And so I don't think that the MIGS devices or all the MIGS surgeries require two hands necessarily to stabilize. I think that helps, but it's actually more about the view. And in fact, like hands-free is a very easy way for us to kind of describe that you don't have to hold it for it to have a view. But I'll tell you like in practice, sometimes I will nudge it a little bit to kind of get it back into a position that I want it to be in, but I don't need to sit on it, holding it down, hovering my hand over and, and again, Many surgeons that are skilled doing angle procedures, they'll be okay because they're already used to doing it. But when you start out, it really does take out that variable of what your pressure hand does. Yeah, I mean, I, I remember like training residents and some of them like didn't prefer it that way, but I'd say many of them liked if I held the prism for them while yeah. they focused on their procedure. Yeah. Yeah. Because it just cut out 50% of the variability of, of the view. I think for training, it's been great. Um, but it's not even just like a resident thing. Like you have comprehensive doctors that do thousands of cataract surgeries, but the angle procedure is still like a new thing. Right. And so the visualization, like we're used to working with the scope, but if you're not used to doing like a different hand for the gonioscopy prism view, it's not a resident thing. It's anyone that is trying to get into that space. Because sometimes the barrier to entry for people doing angle surgery is not being able to, to do right. the view right. And again, I mean, it's all about making that learning. There's going to be a learning curve to anything new, by definition, but making that learning curve easier and more importantly, safer for the patient, you know, that absolutely. It doesn't, it doesn't eliminate all of the uh, training and education and technique and visualization and understanding of anatomy that needs to happen, yeah. but it really does streamline things, especially on the front end. I would say just because you're not futzing around as much trying to get a view. Um, like when we use the hands free, I mean the view is clear from like there's not the straight part. The, the, the breadth or the width of the view seems actually very comparable but in fact since it just kind of rests on the cornea, I'm like it's a very clear view like from side to side not just like in the central part. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think for me, like the biggest advantage that I see is just getting people like comfortable working in that space more than anything. And and I mean, Joe brought up a good point. I mean, like we don't talk about it often, but like if you're there sitting next to like your faculty and he's like teaching a resident how to do it, he's gonna know when they're about to run into trouble and like treat the l wrong part of the angle. Like instead of going into the TM, they're in the ciliary body, and that is all visualization. And so. Um, for that, like it does increase safety in my mind. Where there's no like data behind it, but at least you're not just like randomly shoving something somewhere else because you can actually see the view since you're not making it worse. Yeah, it's it's very easy to, you know, I mean, for example, if you're in the eye, you got a little bit of striae, you're pushing on the on the wound a little bit, the eye gets rotated a little bit towards you. You could think you're in 
trabecular meshwork, but actually be in ciliary body because yeah. you have a little bit of an under rotation. We're talking a matter of a few degrees mm -hmm. and 500 microns, yeah. right? Uh, and microns. Visual, visualization can change the, dif you know, can really make the difference between a successful procedure, a near miss, and a catastrophe. You know, it's interesting, like, all of, like, you go on your surgery rotations, and, like, as an intern, I did, like, s some gen surge stuff, and it's all about your visualization view, right? Like, blood management, keeping a view, like, it's no different here. Absolutely. And that's the whole point of the hands-free, is it's just a more consistent, good view. Yeah. Now, I mean, to your question about uh, the, the location and how, how, how that may play a role. Mm -hmm. I mean, one, one thing that, it, that uh, comes to mind is just the concept of reusable versus disposable oh, lenses sure. in general. Yeah. Uh, for a long time now, we have, uh, both of yes. us have moved away from reusable lenses. We have a couple in the back just yeah. in case. I don't know the last um, time I used them. I mean, our hospital wanted to do away with it from just the gas sterilization. Right. Like, they didn't right. want their employees exposed to the gas that was being sterilized. So. Yeah. And the optics are better. Optics are better. They do know. not come back scratch. Right. Right. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So just doing, doing what we've already transitioned to better. Yeah. I love thinking about this. Yeah. It could open a whole new branch yeah. of techniques and options. I mean, one, one easy use case uh, that I've had uh, putting a hydrus in, I'm putting hydrus in with my dominant hand. Uh, with hands-free, I can be in the eye with my non-dominant hand, again, through a small incision with a Sinsky hook or something, deliver the stent most of the way and use that hook to oh, dial nice. that last little push. Yeah, you know, yeah, sometimes you need cool. to kind of uh, tease it in. A gonio prism doesn't fixate the globe, right? With a, a, a standard handled uh, uh, instrument. But if yeah. you have two, two hands in the eye, you have massive stabilization. So. I think it's going to be very interesting to see what kind of new applications we can come do. up with. That's exactly right. I mean, I, I thought about um, some of the side pass cases that we had early on, like trimming them. That is a two-handed procedure. I mean, like MST does have like a kind of um, fingernail punch type of right. like cutter, but uh, sometimes when we were using like retina scissors to do it, you had to hold it with a forcep then cut. So I'd have to have like my assist You're or the right. resident holding hold the, the gonio for yep, them. Exactly. And now that's eliminated. Um, exactly. We do some viscodilation, just different ways to like pre-place stents. And, and that generally just because of the, the nature of like the needle and the viscoelastic is a little bit longer so you can stabilize. But, but surgeons that are kind of new to this, like it's more about the stability side too. And they can use their other hand to stabilize themselves with the same procedures that we're doing. And if the gonio prism even has a tendency to slide a little bit, you just remove your hand, nudge it back, and you're, you're back in stabilization mode. Yes, I, I find that it's, uh, like the tab, if you just had the lens alone, it's kind of hard, like you're gonna have to grab it with your hand. This I can actually use like a, a Kalman or McPherson, just some type of forcep, grab the tab, place it on the eye. The tab's also really nice for like removal because it does have a little bit of a suction cup to it so we can remove it. Rotate it off. Exactly, yep. exactly. And when you're working, if it does like slide around a little bit, there's something to gently nudge. Exactly. Um, but I really like, I don't know if you've noticed like the, like the way that the frosted glass, mm -hmm. the, the frosted nature of it is, like yeah. it does kind of diffuse the light, so you get really even illumination, yeah. like in in you, the angle. You don't have that that you, you can you can find yourself in a position where you get that awkward angle and a lot of glare, glare, glare. right in, which is which is largely eliminated with the frosting. That's yeah. exactly right, and yeah. you'll, you'll see some of these handled prisms will have like a notch out or a cutout where you'll see that notch where the handle comes in into the lens. Mm -hmm. That doesn't exist now, so your entire view is about the same, like very very crisp. And clear. All right, well, thank you both for joining us today. Uh, the new hands-free Gonia Prism is available from Course of Medical.